I also like how you don't have to re-grab the fucking treasures. At least I don't think you do, unless I'm totally... I am partially fucking... I might as well be blind, but uh, I don't think you have to re-grab them. No, I can't see it, so I'm gonna get this spear. This son of a bitch can follow me. Hey, look, is this your friend? Uh, too bad. Dead. Oh, there was no... Damn it. See, I fucked that one up. I thought I could climb up here. This is where you really have to fucking pay attention to these paths, because they're not as clearly defined in Hitman Go. That's... That's my... That's my fucking mistake. I like how fucking non... Ridiculously fucking gory these deaths are, because... To be honest, and I might sound like a little bit of a bitch for this, but uh, one of the things that kind of turned me off playing the fucking new Tomb Raider games was how, like, intensely realistic the graphics are. And not necessarily that, but just, like, how fucking realistic it was every time Laura died. Because I saw fucking footage where she, like, is going down the river and then, like, gets speared through the fucking jaw by, like, a giant tree branch. It's like that scene in fucking Hot Fuzz when the guy fucking gets, like, impaled up through the jaw, like, into his mouth by the fucking model village. It's like that, but it's happening to, like, Laura Croft, and it's not funny in that sense. And you see her, like, fucking struggling to, like, try and pull her head free and, like, watch the life drain out of her fucking eyes. To me, that's the point when deaths in video games get, like, too fucking real. Where I'm just like, no, nah, I don't want to see that. Like, just give me fucking Uncharted or something like that where your character just goes into, like, pure fucking ragdoll physics when they die. And just, like, flails around like an idiot. Because then at least I get some humor out of it. It's like... Some of the fatalities these days in Mortal Kombat where, like, they die, and then you see them, like, fucking, like, struggling for that, like, last gasp of air or some shit like that, and they're, like, pulling themselves along even though they got, like, both their legs just cut off. I'm like, that's the point to me where it gets way too fucking realistic. Like, when you show the character, like, struggling to live, then I'm just kind of like, no, no, I don't fucking want to see that and that's yeah that's part of the reason i didn't because i was like if that fucking death in tomb raider okay so he falls off the wall there if he has nothing to land on he just goes back to neutral and then i can murder him sweet but as i was saying like over the top like realistic deaths and then i can murder his friend or his wife who knows and go on about my merry way but those over the top like deaths because I imagine if there's that one in fucking the one scene that, like, every time Laura dies in those games, it's going to be, like, stupid, over-the-top realistic. And I don't want to see that. I want It's like, I want to see pulse-pounding adventure and shit. I don't want to see a fucking, you know, girl fucking struggling to pull, like, a giant sharpened tree branch out of her fucking skull before, like, the light fades from her eyes and she fucking dies. Like... That shit's when it just kind of goes too much for me. Okay, switch. Okay, so that gave us an extra piece of fucking road here. I imagine we'll have to lure this guy away because if we go right down for the switch... Yeah. If we go right down for the switch... He's gonna be fucking waiting for us, that bastard. Come on, you Dodongo piece of shit. I like how he fucking sticks along your route, like he didn't fucking run right down this part and instantly kill me. That's handy. Oh, I fucked it up because he's still on track with me. There's some- there's something I gotta do on that fucking route to, like, trip him up, because now he can just... Surprise! Uh, he got me. Shit, okay. So we gotta figure that one out. Hmm, yeah. 
because he, it's always gonna be within like a fucking step or two of us. If I go down this way. Oh! Can I like send him down? Send him down! So yeah! <laughs> uh, let's leave him in a pit forever. That's great! I like that. That's fucking handy. And then, look at me, I'm a human with my opposable thumbs. I can climb a ledge. Not like you, you dumb son of a bitch, stuck down there in that pit. Ha-ha! Got another fucking snack fragment. Mm. Okay. Throw the switch, because we don't want to step on that thing and get instantly lizard murdered. Okay, so he's been fucking activated. We could kill him instantly, but I feel like we're gonna need the spear to kill his friend here. Because if we climb right up there, after killing him, we're gonna instantly die anyway. And I don't see any other spears, so we're gonna fucking have him chase us. It's nice how throwing these switches doesn't, uh... Okay, so we need to... They both switch, so we need to dupe and dupe and dupe see ya and now he's like oh where'd that woman go I is confused and now we fucking kill his friend or his you know wife brother any other beloved family relation he's facing that way is he gonna come at us okay cool so if they're facing that way they won't get fucking... Can I murder him from down here? Let's try it. Oh! <laughs> Brutalized. Wholesale lizard murder in the house. Lara Croft gives no fucks. Oh, Jesus Christ! No, 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 no. Go away, go away. Fuck, fuck! Leave me alone, you son of a bitch. No, Lara! We still haven't figured out if he has another snake for a butt. Holy shit. You alright, girl? Whoa. Oh. Almost fucking spooked my pants there. Alright, cool. Well, you know, we're probably gonna be able to get all the twin snake, though. That's sweet. Okay, so we trigger this to Dongo because he's like, hey, you're here to kill my kin, and I don't like that one bit. I mean, who would? Okay, so now, if I can play a bit of Ring Around the Rosy, kill his fucking third cousin, we head on down this way. Left or right? Shit. Does it matter? Let's go right. See ya! <laughs> yeah, go down there. Wait a minute. So what do I... Huh. Oh, I have to... I have to drop down here. Oh. Okay. So let's... Kill him. Throw the switch. Can, is there anything down there? I don't see any other fucking... Hidden treasure. Oh, there it is. You son of a bitch, game. You thought you were being clever. Thought you were so clever. And look, I found that other one, too. I am so smart. S-M-R-T. Um. We could probably send him down. Yeah. Get this motherfucker off my tail. Hey, look at me. I'm so fucking... Fresh and tasty and made of meat. Ah, uh, see ya. <laughs> Dumbass. Okay, but now we got this guy. Oh, maybe that's not how we deal with it. Well, let's see. Oh, dear. Okay. We might be hooped. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, well, there's got to be a way to figure that some bitch out. 
Do we go... No, that's just going to lead to an instant kill. We can't jump onto that vine. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> that one was violent! He fucking sent us down for a change. Okay, so we had it right the first time. I mean, we had to have. Okay. We fucking... We get that to crack the first time. We get the crack. First we get the crack. Then we get the money. Then we get the power. Then we get the women. And we'll see you later, fucking lizardman. I like the soundtrack. Oh, we didn't get the fucking last piece of the twin snakes, did we? It was probably in a fucking pot that we missed somewhere, like, way along the line. But that's okay. We fucking, uh... We got through. Oh, here we go. That big-ass snake's probably coming back to haunt us. Or not. Oh, but now it's dark. See, we don't get a fucking... We don't get a clear path. Oh, so this... We gotta go back and use that key to get the uh, second part of that door open. Oh dear, here we go. We're being sent down, down, down. Yeah, okay. Cool. Fancy shit. We boop that son of a bitch into there. Gets rid of another lock and opens another door. Well, guys, I mean, I'm probably gonna go for it. I mean, I don't know if you guys are having fun with this, but I'm having, uh, I'm having a blast personally. Uh, if you guys want to see more wholesale lizard slaughter and see me play more Lara Croft Go, feel free to give this video a like and leave me a comment in the uh, description below, or you can give me shit about how I'm not playing Nuzlocke at the moment. But uh, whatever your comments are, I'll be sure to get back to you. My name is PK Halford. Hope you guys had a great time. And I'll see you guys next time.